This is National Kidney Month, if you didn't know it. And today, Dr. Rashid Balogun is here from UVA Medical Center to talk about a few of the issues people can sometimes face. And some patients have what is referred to as chronic kidney, kidney disease. disease. What, what is that? Thank you for having me back, sure. Karen. Um, chronic kidney disease refers to a slow, insidious decrease in kidney function that occurs over several years. Okay, so um, what is kidney failure when you're talking about that? I mean, when they have this chronic kidney failure, I mean, this chronic kidney disease, can that eventually go into total kidney failure? Absolutely. So chronic kidney disease, is a, it, it refers to the span from the beginning for the severity of chronic kidney disease is divided into uh, stages. Mm -hmm. So stage one through five. And stage one would be the mildest form of kidney disease where stage five is what we also refer to as kidney failure. And folks with kidney failure would require treatment to be able to stay alive. So um, is this something that's a genetic thing or is this something that People could change a lifestyle to, to prevent it or? So most people, most adults that have chronic kidney disease, it's not from a genetic illness. There is genetic illness that leads to chronic kidney disease seen ch typically in children. Okay. But adults that are afflicted with chronic kidney disease, very frequently it's as a result of having uh, what we call sugar or diabetes or from uh, high blood pressure, hypertension. Okay, so uh, the treatments are? The treatments are uh, very obviously to control the blood sugar in patients who have chronic kidney disease because of diabetes mm -hmm. and to control the blood pressure in patients who have it because of high blood pressure. And then of course there are individuals that are unfortunate to, to have both of these diseases at the same time. All right, yes. Dr. Balogun, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so we much. We appreciate your coming in.